Hi everyone, Jeff Marion here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've been injured in a fall on someone's premises, there are three very big mistakes that you can make early on that can really affect your case. I'll tell you what those three mistakes are in this video. This is a series of videos designed to help you understand personal injury law. I do videos that will help you if you've been injured in a car crash, such as this video, or if you've been injured by an unsafe product, such as this video. So click on the subscribe button, check back here regularly, and click on the bell to make sure that you get notifications of new videos. I've been fighting for people that have been injured in crashes, in falls, and by unsafe products for over 25 years. I'm here to help keep you informed, and I started this channel to help keep you safe. We'll do these in reverse order, do a little countdown style. So number three on the hit parade is not gathering evidence. What I mean by that is not having pictures of the location where you fell. You may not be able to get it depending on if it's a fall on ice or on a wet or puddled pavement. Uh, but if there's a hole in the ground or some other kind of thing that you tripped over, then those are things you might want to get photographs of. You can have somebody go back later on your behalf. Uh, if you have someone with you to take pictures, make sure that you gather evidence. Make sure if there's witnesses to the fall that you at least have somebody get the names and phone numbers of those witnesses so that you're able to contact them or your attorney is able to contact them later on down the line. The second biggest mistake that people make is not contacting a lawyer as soon as practically possible. The lawyer can help you with investigation, can help by going to the site, taking photos where maybe you didn't get the opportunity to do that, and maybe uh, start to get your medical records or whatever needs to be done. But really where the big mistake comes in is time limits. For example, you fall, you hurt yourself, it's because there's a hole in the sidewalk or there's an obstruction that you didn't see or something that was raised up that you tripped over and that happens to be on municipally owned land. So let's say you wait a few months, you're hurting and it's not getting better and then at that point you decide to call your lawyer. Well by then you may already have submarined your case when you're dealing with municipalities, and this is all 50 states, you have to file a notice of claim within 90 days in New York State from the date of your injury. So if you wait too long, you can sometimes surrender that right and you won't be allowed to proceed with a lawsuit. So making sure that you get to an attorney as timely as possible is very important in these kinds of cases. So as soon as you're able, Consult with an attorney so you can start the investigation and make sure that you stop the clock and any time limits that you may have uh, relating to notice of claim. Again, as I remind you, New York State's rule is 90 days from the date of the incident. If you're watching this in another state, consult with an attorney who's licensed in that state to find out what those limits are. Do you have questions about what happens if you're injured in a fall? Leave those in the comments section below. I'm always checking the comments and I'm always happy to answer viewers' questions. Now the number one on the hit parade here of mistakes that people make is not instantly making a report. Look, the instinct is when you fall, you feel embarrassed, you feel you're hurt, you're you want to just kind of get out of there. But it's very important that you take the time to make an incident report with whoever the landowner is or whatever store or location or business that you fell at. You want to make sure that that incident report is done that day at that time. Too many times people have just fallen, gotten up, left, not called anyone or just sort of gone to the emergency room and told them what happened and not filed a report. If you don't have the report, the other side is not on notice of the problem and is not on notice and they will find other defenses and they will argue at a trial or as the case is proceeding through litigation that your injury was not caused by the fall or that the fall didn't even happen. Also, 
you run the risk of losing evidence. If you don't report it right away and you don't contact an attorney, uh, you may not be able to preserve video footage. There's video cameras everywhere and most businesses overwrite them on a regular basis, oftentimes 30 to 45 days. So making sure that the video of your fall is preserved is important. But most importantly, report it to the right authority. Don't just call the police. You can and say that you fell at this premises, but make sure that you report it to the landowner or to whoever it is that is running the show where you fell. And make sure that you get that incident report and if there's a written report that you get a copy. And if you have a copy of it, bring it with you when you speak to your lawyer. If you want to learn more about personal injury law, I've got a free PDF that will help you navigate this area. All you've got to do is use this link below to get on my mailing list and I'll be happy to send you a free download. If you've been injured in a fall, please contact my office. You can do that through my website www.jeffmarionlaw.com or at the email address that's on the screen. I'm happy to sit down with you for free and go over your case and see what we can do to help you. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, please click on the like button and make sure you share it in your social media network or share it with people that you think might find this information helpful. Also, please subscribe to my channel, check back here regularly, and until we get the next video out, I'll see you soon.